Hey, it's Joe Lines, and uh, I was working on a web scraping project, and I had an issue um, that I, I know I've seen some people on the forum have issues with. And basically what happens is I, I was automating clicking this button, which was easy, um, and then there was this, this like search thing happened here, but also you notice there was like a bit of a pause before that. And then finally, now there's this download button that I need to click. Um, hey, seems simple, right? I would click the first button and then wait for this thing to exist and then click it once it exists. Well, uh, let me show you here. I'm gonna launch my script. Let me go back. Um, what this this line right here is gonna say is it's looking for that um, that element. This, you know what, let me, let me drag. Oh, I should have dragged it on the other menu. This is the button that I wanna click. Um, so notice when the message box, it exists, comes up. So I'm gonna hit download. And now notice also it doesn't happen right away, right? And then right in here, usually it's right now, is it? Oh, I didn't hit my hotkey, darn it. Hold on, ah, back. Um, so, reload it. All right, now it's running. Now I'm gonna hit download. And now, it, look, it's not, it's not there. Oh, now it exists, right? It exists, but you still don't see it here. Right, so this was the real problem I had was I was checking to see if it existed because at first it didn't exist. This is what threw me was I said, well, let me see if it does exist on this first page. It didn't, um, and I'm like, oh, great. I'll just wait for it to exist, and then it was kept clicking it, but it wasn't there. Um, so I had to figure out a way to first, I, I, I had to include this one to just wait for it to exist. This is basically saying, hey, let's let's look for this element. Don't care about the inner HTML or outer HTML or uh, inner text or value or whatever, right? I just want to wait for it to exist um, and just keep, if it doesn't exist, keep looping. So this is just a two line loop, right? And then we do the message box. Um, so that's the first part to check if something exists, which works great. It's two lines. I love it. It's very concise. Um, the next one, this is what took me a while. I also notice here, I store a pointer to it once it exists. And this way I can just reuse it. I don't have to push this in here twice. Otherwise I would have had to put this, um, this whole path here both here and here where element is, but because I stored it in a variable um, or object, it, it's right here. So then I did a little searching and what you can do is you can search to see if the offset, um, if basically if the width and the height of it are both zero, if they're both zero, that means it's not visible because it's, it's not greater than, you know, you, no one can see it. Um, so let me re rerun this. I'm gonna go back to here. Um, I'm going to launch it so it's running right now. Now watch when I hit download. Um, it's going to go in now. I don't, oh, now it exists. It didn't, it didn't reload. Let me, hold on. Let's try this again. You know, maybe I didn't save it. There we go. I hadn't saved it. That was what it was. So I'm going to run it. It's running and I hit download and now it's going to go here. Now I don't have, I should have put like a tool tip right here to say it exists. Uh, but notice it doesn't pop up yet with the message box until finally when it's available, when it's visible, the height's you know greater. I don't know what it is, but it's greater than zero and the width's greater than zero. So now I could click it. Um, and so that's why we just add a, a, actually I could probably just do dot click um, at the end. I forget my actual script I did. This is just a, a small bit of it, but um, I want to demonstrate that. I added this by the way to my syntax writer um, let me let me get a new script here just so I can dump it into a new page. Whoa, where did my mouse go? There we go. So I'm let me launch my syntax writer. Um, you'll notice there's a little bit different. So I used to have the element exist under here because it was there was only one of them and I was using it next to this wait for page to load and wait low um, for the page to finish loading. Um, but I decided to make it here, I added a whole new menu to say um, if the menu exists or is visible. So here's the first one to wait for it to exist. This is wait for it to be a certain length or, or account. Like let's say you had you were searching for eight, the number of A tags and you wanted it to be over 50 or whatever. Um, and then this one is if it's visible. Um, so, but just remember, um, which I put in here, um, when you're doing it, which I haven't included here, but make sure that, that you first check to, um, actually I should have a while there, right? Cause, um, uh, you know what? I think I'll, um, oh no, I, I need to, 
I guess I need to re rewrite this a little bit for what's in my syntax writer because I wanted to say um, while this is not, you know, exist to sleep. So that should have been in there. Actually, I have it in the other one. That should be there in the first one. Let me see if I can just pull that up. Yeah, this is what should be in front of the other one because basically anytime you want to see if it's visible, um, it'd be good to make sure that it actually is a thing first. And so um, I think I'll add this back into the top of the, the, the syntax writer for the this one. Um, but that's it. Um, I, I know a lot of people have issues with waiting for something to, you know, the, they go to click it, and they click it, but it's not there and it's, it's just problematic. And so I hadn't thought through that there's the possibility that it can exist, but not be visible. And so maybe this will help some people. All right. Thanks.